Frederick E. Stein, uh, FT3, Fire Control Technician, third class. Wanted to join the Navy ever since I was probably about 14, and I would come home on Sunday and watch Victory at Sea. And <laughs> it really got me hooked on, uh, on, on joining the Navy, in particular a, a small destroyer, a smaller ship, which I, I fortunately wound up on. And uh, so when I turned 18, I graduated high school. I went to electronic school after that because I figured when I get in the Navy, if I go in with electronics background training already, I'd have a good shot at becoming an electronics technician. I didn't know about fire control technician at the time, which is very similar. So uh, that's what I did. I, I joined the reserve program, which was one year of active, uh, active reserve once a week you go to the the armory and learn about the ships and rules, etc. And then after a year of that, um, you go on active duty. During that interim of one year of active duty, um, they send you off to boot camp. Before I wound up in boot camp, part of the reserve center's uh, uh, duty was to give you an aptitude test. Uh, exactly to find out, you know, should you go to deck force or she could fix radars or you know what's your aptitude uh, and it was very similar to many other aptitude tests uh, SAT course or whatever and um, I was I was very good in elect electronics because I was going to electronic school on my own as a civilian so I was I, I rated high there and they recommended that I would go into uh, electronics uh, of some sort of ET I didn't know FT at the time. So that's how we got positioned as to where the Navy uh, would want you. They also asked you, what did you want? And I said, I want a small ship. I want a destroyer. I want to get to know people on the ship. I want to be part of a group of eight or ten in my division. I didn't want an aircraft carrier with 5,000 people on board. You may never see someone from fore to aft, um, even if you run into them later on in life. So I, I was very fortunate. I, I got, I got the ship type of ship I wanted, and um, I got into the rate that I wanted, and um, the fun was good most of the time. <laughs> so, uh, so I went off to um, Great Lakes boot camp in March of '59, uh, and uh, then. Actually, I guess we were up there in February, um, and it ran into March. I think it was a two or three week uh, concentrated boot camp. Um, the, I guess the main thing about boot camp was you got to learn how to shower with 50 guys, um, and uh, also how to march uh, in line without tripping over one another. Uh, but the main, the main thing they wanted us to learn was firefighting because on a ship you have a fire, you lose the ship. So most of that time I uh, was training in firefighting, high pressure hoses, what nozzles to use, etc. and really needed like two or three guys on those things. They would just whip around and could, could kill someone. So the boot camp was very cold. It was up in the, the Great Lakes. Uh, Chicago was, is a windy city and it certainly was, so um, it was not really a vacation area. Living quarters were barracks, uh, just like I guess an army barrack would be. Uh, cots, you know, probably three, three, four uh, cots high. Um, not too much unlike uh, when we're in the on the destroyer. Our, our 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 cots were held up by chain, and there was about eight, uh, about four, four high, and 